So CityLab CAR is an Erasmus uh, Mundus Plus project, Key Action 2, funded by the European Union. And actually it's aimed at innovation in education. And what we try to achieve with CityLab CAR is to implement problem-based learning in higher education institutions in the Caribbean. I think it's necessary uh, because the demands that we have for uh, professionals in the future are different than in the past. Uh, we have a number of challenges, especially in cities, that we try to solve and the type of skills that students will need in the future is quite different then. Uh, so they will need to think holistically, they will need to have skills in problem solving, in collaborating with other actors, in collaborating with other disciplines. So, and that's exactly what we're trying to achieve with this uh, problem-based learning and the implementation in the Caribbean. Well, I'm part of the City Lab Car Initiative, particularly because the, the theme um, uh, that is centered around is very important, not only to my institution, the Caribbean Maritime University, but also to the Caribbean region. Um, traditional forms of course delivery and teaching is preferred, and so this is a new way of developing new age professionals, and so I think it's very important. I am a part of the City Lab Car Initiative because as an educator for the past ooh, 20 odd years, I've always been looking for new ways, new approaches to teach and assist my students in learning. Um, this problem-based learning is a new tool for me as an educator to expose my students to and to get them excited about learning, bringing new thoughts, new ideas to um, solutions to our problems here in the Caribbean. PBL actually stands for problem-based learning, but we also use project-based learning. And it's a way of teaching in which students start from a very complex problem in their field, of course, or a very complex project in their field. Uh, and they work collaboratively with, in small groups with other students to make an analysis of the problem uh, and also to uh, propose solutions uh, in projects. Um, and the role of the teacher uh, changes in this. So the teacher becomes uh, instead of a lecturer, becomes a, a, a coach for students. I think it's very important that teachers work with PBL because it's a, it's a teaching and learning method with a lot of uh, different potentials that can be used. A method that really supports student learning uh, in a way that they, they engage deeply and actively with, uh, with the subject and the disciplines they are studying. I hope to achieve the goal of producing students who are more adept at having the skills and competencies of meaningfully engaging partners in urban planning issues and who are more adept at taking responsibility for their own learning, which continues throughout their career as they pursue their own professional development paths. What we're trying to do is to achieve the improvement in the methodology for educating planners and the PBL is a good tool to achieve that. So it is, the, the end is not PBL in itself, the end is the improvement in the quality of training and PBL is a good vehicle to achieve that. So for me it's personally very rewarding to be involved in the project. We hope at Universidad Iberoamericana, at UNIBE, um, to really create a culture of PBL. Um, it has been, become really clear to me that it, besides it being just a methodology that you can apply in an exercise, it is kind of a philosophy of learning and teaching that really, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful parts of it is that it's active that you can no longer be passive in your learning process, that you have to move, that you have to shake things up. I, I really feel that PBL shakes everything up, the school, the community, the students, the teachers, and it really makes us uh, wake up and see new opportunities everywhere. 
The City Car project had supported us at the University of Suriname to look in a different way of solving problems. Teachers that want to be part of the project and of PBL should definitely contact their campus team leaders because we installed in each of the higher education institutions campus team leaders and they're responsible for designing and implementing the PBL modules. They can also uh, participate by um, subscribing in the online training for uh, problem-based learning. We've set up uh, an online training course with the basic principles of PBL and also some exercises on PBL which is very interesting for teachers that want to know more about uh, PBL and how to implement it in their own practice.